Okay, so a lot of people want to, know, to see a tutorial on how to make this. Um, and as you see, it's just coming soon because, and it doesn't work, but you can click on this video and see the video of me falling out down the building. We, okay. Uh, so, uh, you open up After Effects, and, uh, you make a new composition, and it should be the size of your footage. Um, and you put in the footage. What? What the heck? Okay, it does work. I was just making sure. Okay. Um, and you import your footage in. Um, so. Mine. And you crop it where you don't need it. And it's so long. So. First, I'm just going to make the composition shorter. If you don't need all of this, this is useless. So this is pretty much where you want to start. Um, oops. If, uh, what you need is you making a, a, f a force field ball thing. Um, so yeah, so what you need now is layer, new, solid. And make it a, a circle. So I would make it 720 by 720. Um, so you just make it your height, double of the height. Um, and you go into a lips tool and you double click on it. Oh, by the way, it should have been white. Um, oh, oh, I'm going to change it. Okay. Um, it has to be white. I'm not sure if it has to be white but uh, I use white all the time and it works for me um so what you do the mask you uh, feather it out oh, come on. oh well I'll do it a different way solid 1280 I'll just make it my comp size um I'll just make a circle okay it looks like a circle and I'll mask it out So what you do now is you go into effects and presets and uh, type in noise and choose fractal noise and put it on that white solid. Um, so now you see it's this weird thing and click evolution and my video is about 15 seconds. So maybe you want to do half of that. So make it about maybe seven or eight. I'll make it like 8. And what it does, it will actually be like moving, somewhat moving. Uh, it's like turning and stuff. So yeah, that should be pretty good. Um, so what you do now, since you have fractal noise, you go effect. Oh, yeah, I didn't click on it. Effect. Um, keying, color keying. If you have any better color correct um, uh, keying, uh, you should use it. And you pretty much key like a third, uh, like a third of everything. You should pick the color black um, because you're keying out the black. Um, and they'll be moving. Why you want to key out the black? So it looks kind of transparent, um, but you should also change the opacity in here to about. 80 maybe like 80 or 75 so it'll be kind of transparent um so it looks pretty good right now well it looks really weird um it looks like cut off so what you do now is you choose that solid and you go effect color correction uh, levels and you make it whatever color you want um I think most force fields should be like bluish or kind of purple looking. So I'll make it like 
purple. Yeah, let me get purple. Um, then you go effect trap code uh, star glow. If you don't have star, um, well, I'll show you how star glow will look like. Um, uh, since I'm using a uh, kind of pink looking thing, I'll use Aurora. And I won't make it so bright. Okay, so as you can see, it looks pretty good. Uh, now I'll tell you what to do if you don't have the star glow um, effect. You could go um, effect, um, how's it called? Um, I don't remember. Well, it's called glow. So what you do is you go down and you find glow. Uh, oh, it's in stylized, style, stylized glow, um, and, uh, what you do is, a uh, glow, and instead of trying, oh, wait, no, that's correct, original colors, you can click A, B colors, um, and change the colors to whatever you want, like, kind of pink looking thing, or whatever. Well, whatever you want. And seal still look nice if you don't have star glow. But if you do have star glow, I suggest you using star glow. Um, so what you pr probably want to do is make it the size of your hand, obviously. Oh, and if you want to make it any cooler, you can change the complexity to make it, like, look more professional -er. Um, you can, you can mainly select, like, change this a lot, and make it your own. See, and you can make it a different swirly and stuff. Uh, so, whatever you like. So, choose something which looks good for you. Um, and so, now what you have to do is... Yeah, you go down. Oh, you, I'm gonna click this so you don't see the mask. Um, and you would use the position and the opacity. Um, if you're gonna go uh, in z-axis, that's zoom out and zoom in. Um, you would need to use scale if you're like getting closer to the camera. Well, I'm not really getting any closer to the camera, so I won't need that. Wait, let me connect my mouse. God. I think it's connected now. Oh, yeah, it's connected. Okay. Oh, man. I can't... I can barely do it without, like, a computer mouse. Okay. Um, and as, since you already clicked on moving the position, if you're, like, moving your arm... It will move. Well, it's not going to move with it. You have to keyframe it. Um, and it should look... When you move it, it's going to look, you know, pretty pretty good. I don't say realistic because you can't make it... Uh, effects are not made to be... Well, they are made to be realistic, but not actually real. Um, oh, remember the percentage, minus 77. Um, and where you want it to appear, you would move back up to about somewhere used. And as you can see, it kind of fades in. And it moves with a hand. Um, oops. So I'm just going to do this quickly. I usually try to make effects as realistic as possible. Um, if you don't think it's moving smooth enough, um, you can take all the keyframes. Go animation. Uh, keyframe assistant easy ease it will make it smoother so it doesn't look 
messed up. So it should. Oh man, this looks so stupid. Um. There. Um. Well, if you're familiar with After Effects, uh, you could put um marks on your hands and motion track it to them. If you're pretty good in After Effects. So I'm quickly doing this, and I will be showing you how. I will also be showing you how to make the flame things. Um. So. Uh, when does it disappear? I'm just gonna track it to when it's gonna disappear. Wow, it's still here. Wow, man, this, this is so long. Not as long as lightsabers, man. Light lightsabers are like the longest thing to do. Okay, um, so, um, then you make it fade out. But that doesn't really look like in the video, right? Um, so this is why you have uh, the f uh, videos of like fireballs and stuff. Um, so this is the footage uh, that I used from Action Sessionals 2 by Video Copilot. There, oh, fireball. Um, I have no idea why is it so fast. I don't think it should be that fast. Oh, wait, no, I think it is. Okay. Um, so what I did, I, at, to this, I added the effect to the fireball. I'm just going to rename it Fireball. I don't think there's any spaces. Um, this is footage. I don't care how you spell it. Oh man. Oh well, I wrote footage. Um, and I'll call this effect. Okay. What the fuck is wrong with this? I mean, what the bleep? Okay. Um. So, what you do to the fireball? You click effect, uh, color correction levels, and same thing. You go to red or whatever. And oh yeah, I don't need to do that. It's already red. And make it purple looking, like the fire, like the ball. It's right now for me. It doesn't seem like that. Uh, there, that, that should look good enough. And what you do, you should take a mask and mask out, make kind of like a circle, little circle, and then it, like, oops. Um, don't go too far because you will, uh, what is it called, feather it out. Um, so, and move it where, uh, I gotta move it and make it come earlier. Okay, and it should be somewhere here for me. And oh wow, looks really bad, doesn't it? Yes, it does. So the mask, you would have to feather it. So now it looks better. So what we have now is we let it re render a little. And it kind of like disappears. Um, so that's the basics of.